so. Let's relive it. Valvoline highlights. Yeah, good luck with this one. Where do you want to start? <laughs> Might as well just roll an hour and 50 of race back into it. Lap one, Chaz Mostert did get the lead of this race from Brock Feeney in what was pretty much a two-hour tussle between those two, which neither of them ended up winning. One safety car period, and it was for this moment here. Bam! Nick Perkett up the inside, and Matt Payne into the fence. And a number of drivers who picked up 15-second penalties in this race ended up driving their way back up into the pack. How about this moment? Kostecki, Brown, contact, around goes Brown. Never mind, he won the race anyway. Doesn't matter. Somehow facing the wrong way, restarting pretty much in last from that position, goes on to win the race. Looking backwards as the field all gangs up. Cam Waters going up and over Will Davison's car. Tim Slade turned around by a fellow retiree, Mark Winterbottom. And then the pit stops begin. This was for the race win. Who was going to win the race out of pit lane? Feeney had slightly less fuel to take on. The drop, the contact, the unsafe release. And that was the first of two 15-second penalties going the way of Brock Feeney in a race that would have a minute 50 worth of penalties handed out across the field. How about this? Mostert, is he going to let him go through? Will he sit in behind Brock Feeney and take the race win that way? No! He'll try and defend the position. And Feeney sends him careening off into the fence to the disbelief of Bruce Stewart and the crew at Walkinshaw and Trinity United. They could not believe it. But incredibly, he gets that car moving and back into the race. Now, where's Will Brown come from? Wasn't that guy last, like an hour ago? Here he is fighting for what would eventually be the race-winning manoeuvre. Chaz Mostert could not fight, at least on that occasion, but later in the race, he was up for the fight. In the dying stages of this one, Will Davison gets through, but then they're three wide all of a sudden. And out of nowhere, Thomas Randall slices onto the podium. Mostert somehow was able to hang on to second in this motor race, despite the heavy fire. The champion is Will Brown. The Adelaide 500 champion is also Will Brown, and he celebrated hard.